I hope that the following video will inspire you as much as it did me. Shortly after I had seen MTV examined, we found out that our favorite soft drink company had entered a promotion with MTV, requiring folks to watch the channel each afternoon for a chance to win prizes. Well, that really bothered me a lot. And after the next half hour, you'll understand why. The brouhaha surrounding Beavis and Butthead's dabblings and pyromania may seem like little more than a small bump in the already very rocky road of pop culture. The problem has been fixed, the media pundits would say, so let's let boys be boys and Buttheads be Buttheads. Watching MTV can be like playing Russian roulette. You never know when the gun's going to go off. I don't know if you saw the show last night, but Elizabeth Shue grabbed my package. Comedian Polly Shore's afternoon show often relies heavily on sexual content as in this lewd dance by the cross-dressing Mr. Shore. The grind takes the dirty dancing featured on other dance shows to new heights, particularly during the frequent broadcasts from the beach, where the lack of clothes only accentuates the sexual content. Lip service is perhaps among the more benign of MTV's shows, but occasionally, as in this lip sync session, where the pretenders dress up as a priest and nuns, even the make-believe stuff can get pretty scary. Well, give MTV credit for truth in advertising. Over the years, this broadcast has featured an only slightly censored version of an onstage orgy, an artist advertising his Get a Grip album while suggestively pulling down his pants, endorsements for sadomasochism, and homosexuality. Ladies and gentlemen, heteros and homos, and a steady litany of pronouncements that gets anyone who dares to adhere to conventional standards of morality. Um, I just want to tip my hat to MTV for giving the finger to all the right-wing liberals that try to unplug us. People who are concerned about the sexual content of MTV are portrayed as prudes. It's nothing but sex, sex, sex. Get a life. Bestiality and sadomasochism are mine for laughs. What's the difference between like and love? A spit or a swallow. The popularizing of music like La Sexorcisto Devil Music Volume 1 is one other troubling aspect of the cartoon. During the running commentary on videos that makes up about half the show, less offensive videos, the kind that most parents wouldn't object to, are greeted with the derisive cry, the zap of the channel changer, and banishment from the land of cool. Other normal activities include drug use and a mindless quest for a buzz. We're gonna explore the world of getting high? Cool. <laughs> Credit card theft. <laughs> Sexual harassment. Hey, baby. Wanna wrestle? References to masturbation. Excuse me, Beavis. I have to go spank my monkey. <laughs> and even going so far as to actually depict masturbation on screen. Had enough? The question now becomes, what are you going to do with this information? At a minimum, you can ask your kids or your youth group at church to watch this video. Hopefully, it will help them to be a bit more wary of the network and its messages. Number two, if you have a cable package that includes MTV, there are a number of ways you can selectively block out its signal. For the real crusader, buy some stock in Viacom, and then let the board of directors know how you feel about the network's programming. Finally, get the word out. Lend this video to a friend. As trite as it may sound, together we can make a difference.